Hello my friends. Welcome to Kyle's Film Garage. Today we're gonna to take a little walk through Hollywood, so uh, let's get right to it. What's up, Charlie Chaplin? I always think that, like, the interesting thing about using mirrors in film is that there's so many ways to get into that. It's like the Matrix, you know, when they're going into the Matrix and he's, like, putting his finger through the mirror after he's, like, you know, getting kind of consumed by the Matrix. It's like, uh, I don't know. It's like the, the interdimension. It's like you, you're always going through into another. It's like portals. Like mirrors are always used as portals in films. It's like the idea is to capture the imagination of the audience so that you're, you think you're somewhere else. But in reality, you're just in a city. So films in transitional spaces is like where a lot of the imagination about like what's coming next happens. So it's like hallways. There's something fascinating about hallways. It's like, uh, you don't know what's around the corner. You don't know what you're going to, but it always leads to anticipation of like, what's, what's happening. I mean, prime example of, of the best use of hallways in any film is The Shining. So yeah, I mean, you can, you can visualize exactly what I'm talking about right now, just because I mentioned The Shining and hallways. It's in there, isn't it? Another cool thing that I like to see in films and use is stairs, because it's also a transitional space. It's interesting to shoot, and it's interesting because it takes you somewhere and you also don't know where it's going. It's that anticipation of like, you don't know what's around the corner. You don't know who's down the stairs or up the stairs. So like, what's down there? What's, what's off to our left that we can't see off the frame to our left as we're going down? And it's like, that's where the bad guy would be, you know? So you always have that mystery in stairs of what you can and can't see in a frame, in a shot that you can or can't see. The short film that I've been working on, Long Haul, I'm actually gonna be expanding into a feature length. And a lot of the ideas that I'm talking about right now, I'm gonna use in that film. It's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be kind of a trippy little ride, but uh, so yeah, so we'll keep talking about it. All right, so where are we, Kyle? So. We are right now in Hollywood, coming up on Hollywood Boulevard. It's not a bright, sunshiny day, as you can tell from the rest of this video. It's kinda, kinda overcast, a little gloomy and whatnot. I like to always look down sometimes and see who, see who we're looking at. So who, who are we looking at right now? Johnny Lee Hooker, all right. Scene change. So we're not on Hollywood Boulevard right now. We are on Sycamore and we are coming up. We're between Hollywood now and right up here is going to be Franklin. 
over here. This is the uh, this is the Target Target parking lot. But I don't really. I'm not here to tell you about the Target parking lot. We're just walking up to where I used to live. One of the very first places that I lived here in Hollywood. And it's on Sycamore. So we're gonna cross the street. And this place is the place that I lived. So we're coming up on the place when uh, the, I, I basically learned my first lesson about how Hollywood m works and the, the ups and downs and uh, how nepotism and friends and all that kind of stuff works here in Hollywood. So there's this movie called Three Ninjas, High Noon at Mega Mountain. And that was with uh, Hulk Hogan. And uh, I had basically auditioned for this part named Zed. And uh, Zed was a, uh, a surfer dude, bad guy. Um, and I made it through all of the uh, four different, you know, callbacks to producers and whatnot. You know, this was over at uh, TriStar. And um, basically, a friend of mine said, Kyle, you know, pack your bags. He was on the inside there. Pack your bags. You, uh, you know, you're, you're going to Colorado to shoot. And, um, and so I was just waiting for a call, you know, from the, uh, the, the people, the, the production about plane tickets and contracts and all that kind of stuff. And um, then I'm like, it's been like four or five days. And I was like, what's... What's going on, man? Like, you know, I haven't heard anything from anybody. Uh, what, what's happening? And and my friend was like, uh, man, I'm so sorry. I, I, I'm, I'm so sorry. They were actually screaming about you in TriStar. And uh, so apparently the, the part that I was going to be playing was played by this other person uh, who was a friend of someone in the the producer realm of that film and uh so they like had promised his buddy you know a part in the movie and um so that was the first time that i lost a job that i had earned through the callback process and whatnot and they were basically you know had cast me in this role and then um somebody said no sorry that's i, I promised my buddy a part and then so i didn't get the part obviously and i was freaking devastated because i i had i was broke you know like most actors are and um just like dude this was like my my big my break you know like high high noon mega mountain is going to be my break um but so that didn't happen but uh and that's why and this place right here the villas on sycamore uh this is where i was living at the time and uh nice nice little building it used to be lime green but now it is uh it's a it's a more normal tan but um i kind of liked it when it was lime green you know it's like it kind of says it kind of says a little something a little je ne sais quoi you know so this place was the place that i uh you know learned how it can work here in hollywood uh when you you know are on the uh, outside and just you know scrambling trying to get apart so yeah I learned a couple of those lessons here in uh, in the Hollywood land. So, yeah, but that was that was the first that I remember. And then, like the first time something like that happens to you, it's like, oh, okay, okay, I, I get it, I get it. You know, so yeah, hard lessons for sure. Anyway, just a little walk and talk, a little uh, little hey, what, how do you do? Welcome to the week and all that. And uh, yeah, see you on the next video.